And joining me once again in studio after his analysis on Saturday night, WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi. Ted, great to see you again. You were the only local television reporter to snag a one-on-one -on -one interview with Senator Bernie Sanders holding a massive rally today. How did it go? Well, you know, we've asked every candidate, uh, John Kasich, Hillary Clinton, now Donald Trump coming tomorrow for a sit down, but only Bernie Sanders so far has agreed to do it. And one of the things I wanted to talk with him about was how all the state's top Democrats in Rhode Island are backing his rival. Here's what he had to say. So yesterday, um, we covered Secretary Clinton's rally at Central Falls High. All the Rhode Island Democrats uh, prominent were around her, the governor, Senators Reed and White House. And yet, the buzz in town is that you have a good shot of taking her down and winning Rhode Island. What do you think a message that will send to our top Democrats if you win this state? Well, this has happened all over the country. I mean, Secretary Clinton, in all due respect, is the establishment candidate. She always ends up having Democratic leaders on her side. Uh, we have now won 16 states despite the Democratic leadership because we're, we're bringing uh, the rank and file, the grassroots of the Democratic Party to stand up to the big money interest and we're winning a whole lot of support, getting a whole lot of energy. Ted, obviously he would not be here if he did not think he could win on Tuesday. Even Hillary Clinton, you could argue, thinks that there's a possibility that he may win on Tuesday. Let's say he does. What does that mean for him in the larger picture? Well, I think, as you say, he's here because he thinks he can win. Don't forget, Rhode Island's the only state on Tuesday where independents can also vote in the primaries. And Bernie Sanders has done very well with independents so far. It, with his campaign, with the delegate math getting so difficult for Bernie Sanders, and a lot of people starting to say he might not be able to win this race, it's really important important for him to post a win somewhere to say to people, look, I still have momentum. I'm not out of this thing. Rhode Island could be the place where they could do that. I think that's part of why you saw him here today. We're going to have much more of Ted's interview. You can see the entire thing online, WPRI.com. Ted's going to be back at 10 and 11 with much more. And as always, if you're interested in Rhode Island politics or Rhode Island economics, no one better than Ted. Follow him on Facebook and Twitter.